Hi there, Release Fire here, so I'm going to talk you through Polter Kitty Part 2. Essentially, it shows up again when you're trying to throw in the 14F button and does a runner. And if you thought the first time around was an epic mission to track it down, catch it and beat it, wait for this one. It's even longer. It takes on three floors, so you'll end up going to the fitness center. You'll go to the main catch and you'll also go to Twisted Sweets on the trek to be able to get Polter Kitty and get the button for the elevator back. So I'm going to talk you through everything you need to do to do that. Hopefully the video will help you out. If it does, drop me a like below, but you'll start out by picking up the trail here in the fitness center and you need to head on down and into the swimming pool and the easiest way to do that is to head on down these stairs and you'll find the trail here using the dark lights heading on into the pool but it turns out it's actually over here or the trails over here so send out Guiji to the other side of the pool and you'll find the trail for the polter kitty up here on the wall so you can clear these uh, these bathrobes out of the way, these swimming robes out of the way, and then fire the dark light, and there you can see the insignia. So then you've got to head on into the room on the left-hand side. So get back to Luigi, head on in, and here is where you'll find it once again. So again, with the dark light, and I'm just following the trail. It turns out it's been all over the showers, and then if you kind of follow it over here to the left hand side you'll find it inside this basket here and to get it out of the basket you need to start by taking out the towel that's in front of it so you just need to hoover that up and get that out of the way and then you can press x and that will send polter kitty heading back out through this way so then you just got to pick up the trail head on in through this door. Now it's actually not in here. You kind of saw that it went just to the left of there. So you need to head on through the door over on the left. And here is where you'll find the trail once again using the dark light. Came in through there and headed on over to the left hand side. And you can see it leads up to the punch bag over here in the corner. And to dislodge it from there you need to pick up one of the boxing gloves. Target the punch bag. And that will knock the, the polter kitty out and send it up to the top of the ceiling. And then from here, you've got a little bit of a fight with a number of ghosts that come on in. It's relatively easy to make it through that. You just need to like catch them and, uh, and get rid of all of those. And then once you've smashed them out of the way, sadly, polter kitty does yet another runner. This is possibly the most frustrating of all the things that you have to do here in Luigi's Mansion 3. But hey, it gives you a chance to visit all of the areas once again. So you need to head on over to the right hand side. And again, just using the dark light function, you can see it headed over here and then keep heading in. You'll find it running around the ceiling, but again, keeps on running. Head on through once more. And here is where you'll track it down for the first of the little fights. So you just need to find it. And you can see it's kind of all over the place. But if you keep trekking along with the trail, you can see it heads upwards towards the ceiling. And here's where you'll find it dangling from the ceiling. And then from here, what you're trying to do is hit it with the strobe bulb. So keep on sort of waiting for it to dangle down. And when it returns back down, you can hit it with the strobe bulb. And that will trigger it to go into its crazy cat mode. So then you're just back to sort of hiding over here. Now you've got to make sure you get the angles right. You want to be completely facing away from it so it can sneak fully on up to you. And then as soon as it opens its hands, turn the strobe bulb and start with the poltergeist. Smash it with A a number of times and that will take away one of its tails eventually once you repeat that process for a second time. So again, just sort of turn away, wait for it to jump on up and flash it. Do another poltergeist grab, hit it with some A's and there you go. That is one of the tails done and dusted. But as you'd expect, it doesn't stay long and it goes through the floor and that will see you heading on over to the main catch which I think is floor 12 and then head on through. You can kind of pick up the trail here, but you won't find it until you get all the way over to the beach. So just head on all the way through this entire section, head on through this door and here's where you'll find Polter Kitty hiding out. 
Now there's a fair few ghosts out here and some snakes to deal with. They're all relatively easy for the snakes. Just flash them with the strobe bulb when you get a chance and then you can take them out. So just use the burst to get them out of the way. And like I said, just flash them with the strobe bulb. Get rid of all of the ghosts and then you'll find yourself over here. And randomly, it was when I smashed the ground here with this ghost that Polter Kitty came out. But I suspect if you can finish all the ghosts without doing that, you might need to use the uh, poltergust to be able to uh, to get rid of some of the sand and that will reveal polter kitty and then once you catch up with it you can flash it with the strobe bulb and then you're into another one of these little fight sections but bear in mind there's a whole nother floor of this to go through there's a lot to do to be able to pick up polter kitty but as ever just wait for it to get close hit it with the strobe bulb grab it with the poltergust and smash it down with a and the good news is you only need to do that once here in the main catch, floor 12. But like I said earlier, it does yet another runner and you've got to chase it down again. It continues moving on through the main catch. So you'll need to head on back through the doors just behind Luigi, which you can see with the strobe bulb there. And you'll pick up the trail once again in here. And that'll lead you back over in this direction where you can find it on the top of this lantern. And you might think that this is going to be another little fight section, but it's not. It just keeps on running. And then eventually, when you do catch it up, it jumps on down through the ground and goes back down to the floor below. And that will see you heading towards Twisted Sweets floor 11. As you can see, Luigi's pretty depressed about that, but you've got to head on down one more floor and you'll pick up the trail here in Twisted Sweets. And you'll start by following Polter Pup's tracks, which will lead on through in this direction. So you can see you can't see anything for Polter Kitty anywhere. It is just Polter Pup's tracks that you need to follow to start with. And that will see you heading on through here, where you'll find him in the bathroom, hanging around the toilet for some reason. Uh, but then he eventually, once you press X near him, heads on through this way. And then you just need to follow him into this room keep on tracking on around the corner and again he's up in through this door go through the door and then you'll find yourself in the upside down room with lots of hats and something running around underneath one of the hats and you'll need to use the burst move on it to be able to dislodge it and it turns out it's just pulled a pup once again Get the hat off with another burst and you'll need to head on over to Polterpup and use the burst on the hat that he's kind of sniffing around. Keep on following him because he's going to lead you to Polter Kitty eventually. So again he goes over to these hats so give them a good burst to turn them over and once you've done the last of them which is the last few over here you'll eventually find Polter Kitty. But as ever the really annoying cat does a runner as soon as you find him and you gotta keep on trekking after him. But the good news is, this is the last time you will face him. This is all going to come to a head in this room. You just need to head on up here where you'll find this magician's trick. And essentially what you need to do is use Guiji on one side of the panels and use the plunger on it to pull it down when you can get the angle just right and then you need to change back to Luigi to do the same on the left hand side and once you've got all that fully set up and everything in place you'll be able to reveal Pulse Kitty for the last of the fights. He bursts out here and, uh, and the thing is this last fight is actually more tricky than any other little fight to beat it up until yet. But if you find yourself low on health, the good news is you will get the occasional heart drop every now and then, so you should be able to keep yourself in the fight, because what it does is when you do the initial flash, when it drops from the ground, it does this kind of like scramble move, and what you need to do is flash it instantly. So you need to do a flash and then a flash to be able to catch it for that second time and do these last hits with the Poltergust slam move and that will see you finish off Polter Kitty once and for all. So that's how to take Polter Kitty down the second time you take it on, guiding you through floor 13, 12 and 11 to finally finish it off here on Twisted Sweets. So hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, 
drop me a like below. As ever, it's massively, massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of my guide for Luigi's Mansion 3 with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below. Let me know how you get on against Polter Kitty Part 2 and I will catch you next time.